guys, welcome to my video. First one of 2018 and I have been a bit rubbish, haven't I? So I did promise that I'd make more videos and I think because my other two were so well received, I suddenly got really panicky and thought I had to make some masterpiece. But really, when I rationalise it, making a YouTube video is basically just like doing a long Instagram story and I love those. So those of you who follow me on Slim on my um, Slimming World Instagram as SWGirlLauren will know that I got my Seven Stone Award at the beginning beginning of January 2018. That was after 12 months on Slimming World and 12 life-changing months. It's been amazing. Like genuinely, I cannot say that I have ever been happier in my entire life. I have always been very uncomfortable with my size. I've been a very happy person. I've been very body confident but I've never felt physically comfortable like literally like just sat around was always physically uncomfortable and I felt that I was being judged on my size all the time and I felt that my size and my weight defined well not my weight but my size defined me as a person now obviously it doesn't um that's because it's my choice obviously I'm still at the size um I'm like a size 14 to 16 on top 16 to 18 on bottom and for a lot of people that would be you know their start point but for me you know this is I feel normal for the first time in my whole life I think really even as a teenager was overweight so yeah I just thought I'd come on here have a little bit of a chatty video and um, I have done an ask me anything post on my Instagram a few well probably two months ago so I'm going to do another one of those and then hopefully you'll be able to come on there onto SW Girl Lauren and ask me whatever questions you want um but yeah I just thought I'd come on here and say hi I'm still here I'm still very much at it and talk about my new chapter of my weight loss so um my goal was always to lose seven stone in a year and I knew that I would do that but actually my ultimate goal in terms of weight loss because I know that that's what everybody's interested in was probably about to lose about 10 stone so I've got probably about another three stone to go but I'm now not I'm still blind weighing but I'm not at the stage now where I'm thinking I need to um set sort of goals as in like I want to find out in three months I've obviously bought a countdown and I'm well into my countdown now I think I bought it at the beginning of January it's now the beginning of February and I did think that I would still do it in 12 week blocks but genuinely now I'm not sure I think I'm just gonna go with the flow and the reasons for that are mostly that the closer I get to target the more pressure it will be to achieve that number and I feel like I'm not about the number as you guys know which is why you know so many people following me because I blind way and I think that the most important thing for me now is about this new chapter and that's about growth positivity and happiness happy my t-shirt says it I am it I went away with my mum on the 19th of January and we went to Tenerife for four nights and I was without the girls and I was without my husband and I just took that time to really get to grips with who I am as a person and where I want to go both in my career and with my you know personally and by personally I mean self-growth and self-love um which sounds a bit hippified I suppose but it's what you know what I wanted to look into while I was away so whilst away I was listening to a lot of podcasts and I listened to a podcast by Russell Brand where he was interviewing a guy whose name escapes me but he's set up and loads of people have heard about it the Headspace app I downloaded that app while I was away and that's a meditation app and I've started doing that pretty much every day one meditation for about 10 minutes and that has made such a massive difference to where my head's at it's 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 amazing if you've not tried meditation before don't fear it it's just 10 minutes or whatever you choose to do it for just taking time to yourself to just to just breathe it's literally just a relaxation um time away from things so i've been doing that i have also joined the gym um so i always knew that very much like when I first joined Slimming World where I thought, right, I'll know when I'm ready to do it. I knew that I had to wait until I was ready to do exercise. And I've dipped my toe with exercise over the past few years, like probably about March 2017 when I've been doing Slimming World a few months. I thought, right, I'm ready to do some exercise. So I did some at-home hit exercise and I enjoyed it. 
but I was always finding excuses not to do it and I didn't ever have time and the kids were always around and it was just excuses basically I just wasn't ready so I waited until I was ready and I knew that such a January cliche I joined Jan I joined Slimming World in January last year and then obviously I'm joining the gym January this year but yeah I joined at the beginning of January and I haven't looked back I would say that I'm starting to I've definitely got the bug now I'm going to classes I did um Les Mills body attack on Friday I nearly died um I've been going to Zumba I'm booked on to Zumba tonight and I've been doing the gym as well just going to the regular gym and doing doing exercises at the gym but yeah mostly I'm just loving it what I want to do now is start um turning and getting some strength in my muscles because obviously after losing so much weight and still with weight to lose I've got a lot of loose skin skin that's lost its elasticity that's not going to change you can't get the elasticity back when it's gone especially when obviously I'm in my early 40s I've got two children and you just have to just work on turning up the underneath to try and like lift everything as when I look at people that I follow on on Instagram who've lost a lot of weight, the ones who've exercised either throughout their um, journey or towards the end of their journey, certainly their body shape seems to be quite different to those who don't exercise. So I think it's really important for me and just for my general health and well-being. What I have got to say is that doing exercise seven stone lighter is a damn sight easier than doing it seven stone heavier. So I'm finding that side of things is um, just that I'm not having to heave around seven stone more of weight is, is a big difference. So yeah, I'm just really, really at a good place. Um, I'm just concentrating and I put a post on my Instagram the other day about just happy, just feeling happy, just working on me as a person. And obviously I've never been about how much weight I can lose. Um, as you know, that's why I blind weight. It's not about um, a competition with the scales. All I am about is every day, day after day, week after week, just becoming a better version of myself and a happier version of myself. And I'm definitely, definitely achieving that. I've talked before in my YouTube videos about how my ability to parent my children has changed since I um, joined Slimming World. And I have found that in the time that I've been on this journey, my family dynamics have changed so much. Everything's a lot calmer in our house. And... Um, I'm not blaming myself for, for how everything was before, but I think my general happiness then obviously filters down to the rest of the family. I'm not making out like obviously we, you know, not everything's not always rosy. We've got a normal life and the kids misbehave and need disciplining. And, you know, we, we sometimes, you know, me and my husband sometimes have tiffs and stuff. And, it, you know, that's just normal everyday life. But generally, I'm calm, I'm happy and I like what I see when I look in the mirror. In fact, I've actually put up a few new mirrors, which obviously shows quite a lot. So yeah, I um, haven't really got much more to say in this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet as a bit of a hi, I'm back. Um, and then I'm going to start doing more. Um, I'm going to do the Q&A one, which I will upload, which was the Ask Me Anything. But I will do a new Ask Me Anything as well. And I'm also going to talk about January favourites. I'm going to talk about January favourites in what I've been eating for food. Well, is it January favourites? We're at the beginning of February. Yeah, I guess my favourites for the month of January are just gone. Um, I'm also going to talk about makeup, beauty and... Um, also what my favourite clothes are that I've got this month because I've got a few new pieces. So yeah, hope you can join me again. If you like this video, please like and subscribe because it's really it really shows me that I'm doing the right thing. And if you've got anything to add, then please do comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.